The Foodie Flamingo by Vanessa Howe, illustrated by Pablo Pino. Every Friday at the Pink Flamingo restaurant, Frankie Flamingo met up with her friends, Frederick, Felicia, and Steve. And every Friday, they each ordered the same dishes. Frederick ordered braised shrimp, Felicia ordered boiled shrimp, Steve ordered butter shrimp, and Frankie ordered shrimp bosquet. But one Friday, Frankie learned the word foodie, which means someone who thinks of every new meal as an adventure. So when it was her turn to order, she asked, Do you have anything without shrimp? Her friend's feathers ruffled. Steve even gasped. But we like shrimp, said Frederick. It gives us our lovely pink color, said Felicia. What if you try something new and hate it, said Steve. It could ruin dinner. The server looked stern, so Frankie ordered stew and kept her foodie feelings to herself. The next day... Frankie went to the market and bought a big bag of Brussels sprouts. She spent each night that week blanching, boiling, and baking the Brussels sprouts in new ways. Some bowls were better than others, but trying them made her feel better, braver, different than before. Beaks turned when Frankie strutted into the pink flamingo. Are you all right? asked Frederick. You look a little green, said Felicia. Steve just stared. Frankie said, I'm great, and grinned through dinner. Each Friday dinner after that, Frankie flustered her friends. One week she flew in with feathers a yeasty yellow. The next week she was berry blue. Finally, after she flounced away, purple as a plum, her friends stayed at the table, trying to solve the mystery. If shrimp turns us pink, Frederick said, Maybe Frankie's eating something else, finished Felicia. But how do we know for sure, says Steve. Frankie's friends sneaked to her house and spied through her window. Sure enough, they saw her taking the tops off tomatoes and turning them into sauce and salsa. Then they formed a scheme of their own. The next week, Frankie's friends got together to try her tomato techniques. They chopped and chilled. They steamed and sautéed. They took turns taking tentative tastes. It was savory and spicy. It was smooth and sweet. Some of them liked it, some of them didn't. But the sauces and sauces made all of them feel like they had flown somewhere new. That Friday, when Frankie arrived at the restaurant, it was her turn to be surprised. The server loved their color. The chef asked for their secrets. Frankie said, we're all foodies. Now Frankie cooks for her friends at the restaurant. She is happy as a hornbill, crafting meals of every color. Flamingos flock, therefore it's flavors and fun. It's aromas and adventures. It even has a new name, the Rainbow Flamingo. The end.